Hello and welcome to my Vintage Audio File channel. This is now my 61st video and today I'm going to be reviewing a couple of Sony components. Uh, the first one I have here on top is the Sony STR-DG710 Audio Video Control Center receiver. It was made around 2010. It is kind of the base model of the uh, series, so it doesn't have too many options on it compared to some of the higher ones, but it still has enough options to be a viable, workable system. And uh, the one below it is a uh, single CD Sony CDP-211 from 1993, which was uh, highly regarded at the time and still is by a lot of people. Um, as far as the uh, receiver goes, um, we have an on-off button. We have a speaker selector for A, B, or off. Um, we have an auto calculation mic that you can plug in to uh, calculate the uh, home theater speakers that are hooked up to it. You have the standard quarter-inch headphone jacks and you have the video and audio in for uh, video three. You have a tuner mode up here which will allow you to either ch check um, if you want to uh, scan by either the tuner itself or, or, or by the presets. It has a uh, manual tuning knob to tune into stations. Down here it's got the uh, memory enter which is basically the uh, memory that you use to set to your presets. It has a category mode and then it's got the category plus and minus. It does have a two channel button so you can listen to this in just standard two channel instead of surround sound. It has an AFD button which I'm not really sure what that means but it, it uh, basically selects the uh, automatically for you the um, type of speakers that you uh, are playing when you're listening to various things. And it's got a movie button and a music button which allows you to uh, uh, use certain um, surround sound modes in those particular type of uh, environments. There's a display uh, button up here allowing you to uh, change your display. There's input mode, input selector, which allows you to go through all the uh, different um, things that are in here, like uh, um, DVD, CD, all that type of stuff, um, tuner, and that can either go up or down. Some of them will just allow you to go one way, this will allow you to go up and down. And you got the big master volume button an auto calculation button which is used in conjunction with your calculation mic and a direct um, to uh, bypass all the circuitry inside to uh, listen to everything in, in unbiased direct mode. As you can see this boasts that it has XM ready. If you put your XM antenna in there it will play XM radio, HDMI, DTS, Dolby Digital, EX ProLogic, and Digital Cinema Sound. And um, without further ado, I will push the uh, power on here to let you see what this can do. I don't have really anything hooked up to it besides the uh, antennas for the radio and the uh, input jack for the uh, CD player so bear with me uh, if it ends up being an incomplete type of demonstration. Right now we're going to be listening to two channel mode on the tuner. Automatically, we'll go to the next station down. The one thing I like about this uh, tuner a lot is that it is very sensitive and will allow me to pick up stations that I 
just can't pick up uh, easily with other they might not come in great but uh, they are definitely better than what some other tuners that I have in some of my other stereos um, some of these uh, stations I'm doing are uh, like 60 miles away and that's pretty good for a, uh, a receiver especially in these days when you've got uh, a lot of uh, radios that don't really emphasize tuners anymore this one still does and Sony's always been good about that as you can see it stops on a lot of stations and uh, like I say some of them are really far away like this one here is like 60 miles away this particular channel and it comes in in stereo so I will turn it from tuner to uh, CD player it's called SA CD slash CD for whatever you want to use it for as you can see right now this is shows AFD auto which is basically two channel but but unlike a lot of other um, receivers that offer two channel stereo sound <clears throat> this one allows you also to add the sub subwoofer in <clears throat> you can take this off here and it, like I said it's showing all kinds of different things that are uh, available in this mach this particular receiver and there's a lot of it and do even do multiple stereo which is basically the same as uh, the other other state the other one that I had on just showing phantom mode of all the other speakers that aren't hooked up the one nice thing about this uh, also too is um, when you do put this in sorry I gotta turn this down a little bit because uh, I don't want to YouTube to give me a strike um, when I and I'm going to uh, try to rectify that by finding a different CD to put in that uh, might be a little harder for them to uh, to figure out what I'm playing so just bear with me a second here but as you can see it's playing and uh, I'm going to stop this particular CD right now take it out and this uh, even though this thing is nearly 30 years old it still works flawlessly which is a testament to uh, Sony CD players they uh, always seem to uh, be really well made and uh, I agree 100% so I'm going to uh, put this CD on And if you bear with me a second here, I can uh, this also is it's it's got a music thing here where you can actually even in two channel add effects to it so now you're in hall and you got jazz and concert and that really adds uh, adds a lot of echo to uh, it to make it sound even nicer if you're so uh, and if you put it into portable mode, it's basically the same as uh, not having it on at all. I'll put it back in two channel here. Pretty good. Um, I've always been kind of partial to Sony CD players. They seem to sound best to me, but uh, some people don't like them because they say that it's the, 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 the uh, presentation is too shrill. I've never felt that way about it. Um, I like a lot of uh, treble 
And of course I like a lot of bass too, but uh, I actually like treble even better than bass. Um, I like the highs that uh, can get to it as long as they're not distorted or anything like that. And uh, Sony seems to uh, have their stuff geared towards that, so that's one of the reasons I like it the best. Some people like other ones because they say they sound more smoother and tube-like. Um, I guess in one way Sony, in their presentation, they're kind of more digital sounding, if, if, if you know what I mean by that. It just uh, sounds very antiseptic and, and pure, where it doesn't uh, c color anything at all. Um, and I guess that's my preference. Um, as you can see on the Sony player, it has a, a lot of buttons here to, to uh, use on here. Besides your open and close, your play, your pause, stop, fast forward, and reverse for tracks. You can also autom you can also take your tracks and do them by number. Um, if it's more than 10, you just hit the plus 10 and then whatever number. It has a uh, a check, clear, a time for uh, checking the time on the CD, how much has been used, how much is left, a repeat button, a fader button, which you use when you're uh, recording stuff off of your CD, a music scan, a peak search, an edit, time and fade, and then you've got your continuous shuffle and program modes for, for playing along with your headphones with a uh, dedicated um, phone level uh, knob to uh, re increase or decrease the volume of the headphones you're listening to at the time. It says this is a high density linear, linear converter with a direct digital sync. Um, it is a very nice machine. Uh, if you look online for this particular model, you'll see there's a lot of other people that agree. This is one of their nicer ones. Um, it was probably top of the line for single CD players that year, because I think they also made it a 111. And uh, this is uh, a really nice uh, intro to a uh, CD music. If you're so inclined to still listen to CDs, I know a lot of people aren't. But uh, I still listen to CDs all the time. Um, and uh, I'll show you some of the other stuff that are in here. So you it starts out basically with the CD. You've got your uh, FM channels, your AM channels, your XM radio, your DM port, your video one, video two, video three, DVD, satellite, TV. So as you can see, there are a lot of inputs on the back and a lot of those inputs, um, especially the, the video stuff is incorporated into either your standard um, analog style um, the jacks on the back or if you've got the newer stuff, uh, direct HDMI. So um, it is a pretty versatile machine for uh, the beginner and uh, it isn't really that costly these days. You can get a decent one for around 50 bucks if you uh, know where to look for them. These are a little harder to come by because uh, a lot of people still hold on to them because they are nice players. But uh, together they work pretty good. Um, I was going to try using a different um, receiver that was closer in age to this one when I uh, hooked it up and tried to use it after a lot of time in storage. It uh, smoked on me, so I guess I uh, can't use that one anymore. That's too bad because that was a nice one too. But anyways, um, I'm glad that you uh, were able to uh, watch my video, and if you're still uh, watching at this point in time. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like any, like this video and please leave comments for this or any other videos that you see of mine. I do have, like I say, 64 now that you can uh, watch for hours if, you, if you're if so inclined. 
And um, until next time, please stay safe. Please have a happy holiday. And I will see you next time on my 65th video. Until then, bye-bye.